This is In Fisherman. One of my favorite times of year for smallmouth bass. Fish are still a little bit pre-spawn, but it's getting close. And the fish that we're actually seeing, we're sight fishing basically, but we're not seeing that many fish, although there are some fish up roaming. The main thing that we're doing, and this too is part of sight fishing, and that is, is you are looking for structural elements where you know concentrates are, that you know concentrates the fish. We're up in a big boulder field, and obviously you're looking for large individual boulders, uh, patches of boulders, boulders along sand, uh, boulder edges where you've got sand and gravel and a long edge, and you're seeing those with your eyes and picking out those high percentage spots as you move along. And those are those smallmouth travel areas. The water temperature that we've got is pushing right up to 60 degrees. So, like I say, this is the end of pre-spawn. There's a lot of fish shallow. This is a, a visual experience once again. It's another type of sight fishing. We've got flat calm, makes it easier to see. The sun's high in the sky. And uh, we could actually probably use a little bit more sun from time to time. But with the sun, you got to play the angle. You got to keep that sun over one shoulder or over the other shoulder in, able, in ordering you to see better. Uh, I didn't even feel him take. There we go. You know, obviously, this doesn't have to be complicated. I usually use two classes of lures. I'll keep two grubs on, one just a straight power grub, and the other a very realistic. Uh, grub by Berkeley call a minnow grub, a realistic minnow grub. And then for searching over flats and along, making real long casts along edges, I always have an X wrap, a number 10 X wrap. And if they're not biting that bigger one, especially a lot of times as you get towards the spawn, they'll go for this number eight big time. It's a great bait. So four, four rods rigged, ready and rigged in this smallmouth situation. And it's been working, and well, it's worked every place I've fished across the country. It's a good, basic, fundamental presentation plan for smallmouths early in the spring. There we go. fish. As the day has moved on here, this is the first bigger female that we've seen. All the other fish have been small males, so maybe the day is going to change for us. The whole point about this sight fishing is, is that there's a lot of different aspects to it. I mean, you can look visually for fish, but most of the time, sight fishing is going to take the aspect that you're going to be looking for visual cover. The, the environmental edges, the big rock boulders in the case of smallmouths that are actually going to hold these fish. Before you're going to see the fish, you're going to actually see the spots, cast to the spots and catch some great fish. Hey, this works for a variety of species. I worked, used it for muskies, uh, smallmouths, largemouths. It's a great way to fish. It's a lot of fun. And smallmouths in the springtime pre-spawn, one great way to fish.